Right. Back to Yardim. Are we back to Yardim? There's a lot of running about in Yarnum today. A lot, of, a lot going to Yarnum. We're going to get the boss. Like, I need to do the sewers as well before we move on to the boss. Sewers. Sewers, then boss. So this game's an entire game of White Town. Yeah, it seems that way. It's just, it start, this is as nice as it's going to get, actually. Yeah. This is as beautiful and Edinburgh looking. Only going to get worse from here. You think they're all like, Go on, get away, man! Fuck off! Bolt your rocket! Get out my swamp! Hello! What? My name's Horace! <laughs> Horace the Troll! Have you got any blood? I'm looking for some blood. Hello. Ooh, I've not got many bullets for the boss though. But that's alright. It's alright. I think I'll manage my fun. Dear Lord. Oh, I think I'll manage. I need to upgrade my health so badly. Have you not got much? No, I'm on I'm level 9 vitality. Wow. That's not enough. No. Right, this is the correct correct Amundo. Yes. Be calm with this troll, because they've been... Been... getting you. <gasps> no, towards him! Oh no. Oh bugger. Oh bugger. Bugger. Yes. Yes! I'm gonna rip his guts out. <laughs> Get him. Yes, I am Horace the Troll. Horace the Troll. I'm going to rip out his bloody guts. Alright, Horace! <laughs> Have you seen the cleric beast? <laughs> oh, this geezer. Yeah, this geezer right here. It's alright, I saw him out. Oh, fucking hell. Hold my pint, love. It's disgusting. They really did nail, like, minging in this game. That's what they got. Mm. They got that right. Yeah, it's Halloween soon, and this is the scariest part of the game. This is minging. That's not the scariest part. But it's not really a horror game, but it's pretty fucked up. It's nasty, like... They're, I mean, they're all kind of like that. They've all got bosses the way you're like... Oh no, he grabbed me! Oh no. No! Oh no. Oh, I'm okay. Right, hang on, let me just get out of here and heal every minute, because I'm not going to risk it. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. No point risking it. Can't see. I can. What the fuck? Camera. <laughs> I think. Wow. The camera is the worst part of this boss thing. I don't think it's even the boss himself. That's usually the case with games. Oh no no no! Oh, I wanted no. to go through. No. No. Come on, man. You got this. Yeah. Oh no! I missed. What the fuck? Camera! Camera! Cam, cam era! Can you get into your cam era and fucking be a camera? Fucking Christ! Dude, you got him! Yeah! Yeah! Nice! Oh, what do we need out here? <gasps> the hammer! I need the. I want the hammer! The Kirk Whammer. Yeah, man! I need the Kirk Whammer hammer! <laughs> Need to do a lot of things. There's a lot of shit. Let's to be just done. fucking take. Need to find that little girl's mum. Yeah, man. There's a lot of fucking. There's a lot of badness out here. Do you know? Right. So here's one for you. You're gonna fucking love this. And um, do you know what the people on TikTok and all the rest of that shit? Fuck them. They're probably gonna love this too. I'm gonna gobble it up. So we were out in uh, Glasgow last weekend for her brother's birthday. Yeah. And we got into a pub. Conveniently enough, the pub where they recorded the fight scene in the bar from Trainspotting. Nice. I I'm stood where that woman got glassed. I'm familiar. Yeah, so it's her uh, her brother's local, which is great. So, in there, um, having a great time, playing pool, was having a fucking lovely night. Really, really good night. Uh, so there's this bunch of presumably Australian students. <coughs> they're in there, they're fucking about, they're playing pool, they're having a good time, whatever. And one of the lassies is standing there and she's like, looked like she was really struggling with the shot, okay? And we're sitting at the table right next to the, to the pool table, so we can see, I can see everything, I'm watching the game. I can see them doing it. And I could see she was struggling. She had to like, she would have had to bridge 
over a ball. So like you know, do yeah. that do that awkward claw thing where you like put your hand on the table weird and like raise the cue up so you can get it over another ball. Yeah. And basically I just what I've just done there, I explained to you, was what I was about to say to her. I went over, quite the gentlemanly thing I thought, to be like, I saw her struggling and I thought, you know what? She's about to take on a worse shot. <laughs> I can help here. So I stood up and I went, hang about. You can hit that, you know, if you want, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and said, if you have, if, if you, do you know how to do a bridge? And before I could even explain what I just explained to you, one of her pals came up and went, did she ask you? And I was like, uh, and before I could answer, I went, did she ask you? And I was like, oh boy. I was like, do you know what? Have a lovely night, ladies. I'll see you in a bit. And I just walked back to my table and sat down and went, I think I've just been accused of mansplaining for the first time in my life. <laughs> What, but like same, a serious actual ac accusation of it, I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, <laughs> I saw a video that was like, "We'll keep mansplaining if women keep femme elaborating." Yeah, I, told, I saw which that. Which is one. where you like you start a story and you tell everybody like fourteen different ways about something before you even start fucking talking about the, so your actual point. My mum is really bad for that. Like, I'll be trying to leave the house. I'll be like, "Mum, I need to go and get my dinner," and she'll be like, <laughs> no, exactly. "Yeah, yeah, yeah," but like, blah, 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 and I'm like, "Mum." <laughs> God you, damn right, it. Oh, I've got to tell you this stuff about this uh, about Bloodborne, right? So I was playing Bloodborne, and Sophie, your pal's mum, right? Yeah. She said that so-and-so was going to the dentist. Yeah, and totally. Then she got to the dentist, so-and-so, and then it's like, and that's why we're having fish for tea. Oh. And you're like, what are you talking yeah, about? We're fucking... Totally, man. <laughs> totally. So, yeah, that was uh, that was an interesting experience for me. Quite eye-opening. You sexist pig. I can't believe I, I'm you're such a, to help I know, right? Such a horrendous human for, like, seeing that someone was struggling to play a game that, you know, tip of my own hat, I'm pretty fucking good at. And there they are struggling. And I go over to try and impart some wisdom, just help them out. And literally, like, got barked away by some aggressive Australian fucking student. And I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> no worries. And her pal actually even looked... At, when she came over and confronted me, her pal even looked at her and went, "Don't worry, it's fine." And I was like, like as if to be like, like calling her off or whatever. And I was like, "Fuck me, man! What is this? Some kind of like student mafia or something? What is going on?" Right. <laughs> like people just want to argue. Oh, it was so I hilarious. Think people just want to argue. I like went back to my table and laughed about it with everyone at the table. It was fucking great. And <laughs> and shout out to all those young people out there that are like trying to date. <laughs> Because if I was a young man approaching that group of women, and that's the reaction I got, I'd probably not approach a group of women ever again. There's a pig over here. A pig. All right, pig. <laughs> Me name's Horace. I'm about to fist your bum hole. <laughs> uh, Prepare to get turned into sausages. Prepare your anus. 